Hey guys, Stephanie Novak here and I want to talk to you today about something that has been driving me crazy when it comes to social media and the fitness and nutrition industry. Um, oh, and I'm joined by my little boo-boo in the background who's taking a nap. But I, just like you, I follow all these like well-known health experts on social media. If they got thousands of followers, maybe they're doing something right. And I subscribe to all their newsletters, kind of to see what their daily life is like, what they're really eating, how their workouts look, all of that. So the number one problem that I see with a lot of these famous, in particular, it's usually women, uh, on social media is that they are starvationists. They do not eat. It drives me nuts because majority of us cannot starve ourselves and that's so ridiculous and so bad for your body. There's one I follow in particular who will talk about having chocolate for breakfast, half of a salad for lunch, and two glasses of wine for dinner. Don't get me wrong, I would love a chocolate and wine diet. That sounds fabulous. But I also need breakfast, and I need a full lunch, and I need a dinner. So then that's doing nothing for me because then I'm overeating. Um, and the only reason why she stays in shape and stays thin in the tiny frame that she is is because she's not eating meals. She is starving herself. Long term, this is awful for her organs. Uh, who knows how it's going to be for a reproductive system. She's very young. And I just, I, I don't think it's realistic. Majority of us as women, we got to eat. We love food. It's delicious, right? Why not? Don't follow these people who claim to be health experts and don't eat. There's also another woman I know who was actually on a very well-known fitness weight loss show and she used to push the food around on her plate every day at lunch and never actually ate. Why fake it? Just be honest with everybody and let us know you're not eating and that's what you do. Also for her, she is frightening, frighteningly skinny in person, but she gets away with it. I don't know how, but she's also got a ton of followers and people love what she says. It's just, she's saying one thing and she's preaching another. So what I recommend for you is to find people on social media who you think are similar to you. So who have similar problems or are experts at your problems, have similar sentiments about food, who deal with similar um, stresses. I myself know that if I go to the supermarket, I am going down the frozen food aisle and I love picking up a pizza every time. And even though sometimes I'm like, oh, well, it won't be for me, it'll be for somebody else, they'll eat it, I know I'm gonna wind up eating it. So I try to do away with that. Or, I mean, I love my ice cream. So I get my ice cream and I try to ration it the best I can by putting it in a champagne glass every time I eat it. And I know once I fill it up to the top of that champagne glass, there's no more, that's my serving for the night. Um, so I have these like little tips and quirks and things that I just do to make sure I stay on track. But I eat, I eat. I had bacon and eggs for breakfast. I'm about to have some chicken cutlets and zucchini pasta that I made last night for lunch. Not sure what I'm gonna have for dinner but I'll, because I'll be out, but I am just like the other women who eat. I love it and I'm not starving myself. I feel great and I look great. I fit into my jeans. I got nice lines down my belly. I can eat the foods that I love and still have a great body. And that's what I teach all of my clients. So what I'm super excited to share with you is that I'm coming out with an eight week meal plan. I've already released this to my friends and family and they're loving it. I've been following it for a while. Um, it's gonna be coming out very soon, so stay tuned for the next video. It is jam packed with all of your essentials. So everything that's gonna take the stress out of eating healthy. So you're gonna come You'll get your pantry essentials, things that you always need to have stocked in your kitchen. Every week you'll get your grocery list so you'll never again have to take two trips to the grocery store. You'll get your calendar of meals so you know what you're having every day. And this doesn't mean that you're cooking every meal because I'm not cooking every meal and I don't want to cook every meal. There is also healthy eating out nights, some frozen foods that are good quick options to throw in. Um, they're all kid friendly and everything comes with a recipe if a recipe is needed for it. So it takes all of the guesswork out of it. Also, none of the recipes take a long time, nor are there a million ingredients in it. I can't deal with foods like that. I hate when I'm looking up new recipes and it says 120 minutes or cook for four hours, drives me nuts. I want to come home, throw something on quick, and then we're all fed and we're good. 
So this is kind of the more realistic, easy, functional, and still delicious meal plan that you can have. And I will be launching it very soon, so look out for it. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.